Hi, this is MC Jetty, and in this uh, very small video I'm going to show you auto crafting, recursive auto crafting in RF Tools Control. So, this is the program. But before I ex try to explain that, let me first demonstrate it. So, this is a chest with intermediate materials. Here's the program with some cores, network card, storage module to access this. If you go look here, you see there is no wood or uh, sticks, but just oak logs and some other stuff that isn't relevant. And here's a workbench with different crafting cards, for example, for oak fence, stick, and oak wood planks. So you see, you can craft all of this. So that means that if we have to craft this, we have to also craft the intermediate. So let's try it. So it crafted these three using that program and it left some uh, remaining stuff that it couldn't use in the storage. So basically the program, when there's an event for crafting, uh, for all crafting cards that are in this inventory, it will put a lock. This is because this program can be run multiple times, especially if there's recursive crafting and we don't want the shared information because all programs use this these slots for the thing we w don't want that to be messed up by programs that are already running so we test the lock and if the lock is available we can proceed so we must make sure to clear the lock when when needed actually there's a bug here this one for safety should after waiting enable the lock again like this and then we get ingredients smart this tries to get ingredients from the storage and uh, based on the current recipe from what we are what from what is requested and it will try to put the ingredients in slots 0 to 8 of the processor that's these slots because we allocated them to this card and this only works if the ingredients are all available otherwise nothing happens so if the last result was equal to minus one we can't craft at all so we uh, mark it as a failure if it is equal we can craft equal to zero and the ingredients are there we push them into the workbench um, we fetch the craft result we release the lock and we mark the craft result as ok so depending if this was a straight request from the crafting station then this will cause the end result to go back to that crafting station but if the craft result was caused by this a recursive craft then it will go to the intermediate chest and this small program will uh, continuously run every 10 ticks to get uh, items out of this and put it back in storage. If there, the, there are requests, then we go this branch, we release the lock, we wait a, f a bit and we uh, put lock again and we try again. So this loops until all items are available and uh, that's what you saw here in this uh, window. This might still change, not sure if I'm going to keep it like this, but that's how it currently works.